as well. Good to talk to you. That's Eddie Izzard there, live from the Demise refugee camp in northern Iraq. Thank you. Now, Andy Murray has become the first British man to lift the Wimbledon trophy in 77 years. But where are the tennis stars of the future who could perhaps one day follow him onto centre court? Well, Sky's Charlotte Lomas is at the Cumberland School in Newham and they must be greatly cheered by this news. It must be inspirational for them. It certainly is. This is a school in East London, which is one of 16,000 across the UK, which is partly funded by the Lawn Tennis Association. So it receives funding to try and help develop um, the children's skills in playing tennis. As you can see, some of them here have been out since early this morning practicing. And maybe we're here, we're seeing some of the future stars of British tennis. And I have lined up with me some hopefuls, at least. Can I just get your names this morning? Villiers. Villiers? Villemin. And how old are you? 12. I'm 11. Did you watch the match yesterday? What did you think? Uh, it was a good match, but like some flaws, there were some flaws, there were some good moments. It was all right. Did you find it inspiring? Yes. Uh, I hope to look up to Murray. You do, and do you think you'll be playing more tennis from now on? Yeah, definitely. Do you think you've got what it takes to be a Wimbledon champion? Definitely. So it takes a lot of hard work, doesn't it? So I'll let you get back on and start practising with the rest of them over there. Because I'm also joined this morning by Gary Cruz, who's the, the head tennis coach with the sports charity Greenhouse. And you, you work quite intensely with the school here, don't you? Yes, I do. Um, the, the aim of the programme is to give um, kids an intensive engagement in tennis. Um, obviously, I represent Greenhouse. Uh, and the, the programme is a partnership between Greenhouse, the Tennis Foundation and Cumberland School. Um, the main, the main aims of this programme is to obviously have intensive tennis um, engagement but also to engage them in their education, uh, their health and well-being and their general community. So they do leadership projects working with uh, local primary schools, um, working with the local sixth form college as well. And how do you think it might change from now on after Andy Murray's win? Um, I think participation in tennis has been getting bigger for a long time now. There's a lot more going on at grassroots. Um, it's not just about the traditional clubs anymore. It's, it's about parks and getting people into the sport at a younger age, um, bringing people back to the sport as well. Um, hopefully Murray's win will make everyone more aware of tennis and it will just grow the sport even more and projects like this help to do that. Because tennis does have that image, doesn't it, of being a middle-class kind of image and also the high cost of tennis. And How expensive is it? Um, for a greenhouse, this is absolutely free. Uh, the, the, the funding from the greenhouse and the tennis foundation means that this project here and the, our sister project over in Tower Hamlets is absolutely free of charge. So for me as a coach, this is a fantastic opportunity to work with young people who might not have thought of taking up tennis in the, in the, in the normal, normal state of things. And it's a great chance for them to sort of get a, a high quality tennis engagement free of charge, no cost at all. And obviously Andy Murray is a huge inspiration to them. Absolutely, yeah. They've, um, they've been buzzing about the Wimbledon for the last couple of weeks. 16 of them went to Wimbledon two weeks ago. Um, it's been on everybody's lips. It's been on the TV up in the staff room. It's been a fantastic couple of weeks. We're doing our own little Wimbledon touch tennis tournament tomorrow night. And then the top eight winners from that are going to go up to the National Tennis Centre and compete in like a tour finals event. So it's been a fantastic summer so far. Hope thank you, Gary. Thank you for your time. We have to leave it no there. Worries, thank you. So let's hope that children in schools across the country like this one will now see a role model in Andy Murray and who's pretty now to these children that a brick can win Wimbledon. Thanks for that Charlotte, that's Charlotte Lomas there in Newham. This is Sky News and coming up, rigorous and engaging is the aim. We'll be talking to a school principal about those changes to the school curriculum. And you've got about a particular colour hat.